Hi, I'm Phyllis and welcome to my Southern Simply Kitchen where Southern food is simply done. Today we're going to be making boiled peanuts or caviar of the South. And that is something that growing up on a farm in South Carolina, my family knew a lot about. We had several rows of peanuts every year. Um, and on Saturday afternoons, after most of the chores were done, my dad would go out and pull up a bunch of peanuts and put them in the back of his truck. I had to go get the buckets because we all had to pick them off. And then we would all gather underneath the trees and stand there and pick off peanuts until we had them all done. And then uh, my grandmother would take some home and we would take some and oh my gosh, my mom would boil them and that would be our snack that night. And, oh my gosh, it was so wonderful, it was so good. However, times have changed and I don't live on a farm in South Carolina, so I've come up with a new way to cook my peanuts. So grab your crock pot, we're gonna do this in the crock pot, and I buy them already picked off. Actually, these are dried peanuts, but they are raw in the shell. These have not been cooked, they don't have salt added to them or anything. It says on the package, raw in the shell. Now, I grew up eating Valencia peanuts, which are the little red-skinned ones, but these are Virginia-type peanuts, which is a bigger peanut, and the shell is bigger, but it works the same. They just taste a little different, but love them just the same. So, we are going to get started. We only need three ingredients, peanuts, salt, and water, and a crock pot. So, you get your crock pot out, and I'll get my ingredients, and we'll be ready to start. Okay, we're ready to get started. I've got my crock pot here and I have the oval shaped one and I'm sure it would cook more than this, but I, for me and my husband and for football Saturdays, I measure out a pound of those Virginia peanuts right out of the bag, just measure out a pound. And just, you can rinse them off or you can just put them in there. They're gonna be in a lot of water and they're gonna boil, so. Um, Sometimes I rinse them, sometimes I don't. And then I have two heaping tablespoons of just regular table salt, you know, the Morton Girl salt with the umbrella, and just sprinkle that over the top. And so that was two heaping tablespoons and one pound of Virginia peanuts. And then I have a half gallon or two quarts of water here that I have put in the microwave to heat it up. I preheat it so it doesn't take as long for the peanuts to cook. And so just pour that in. And then we're going to pour in just for good measure because sometimes the peanuts need more water than other times. And so I put in two extra cups of water. And then I'm just going to put the top on my crock pot. Now, I don't have a fancy crock pot. I just have a $25 model from Amazon. So the lid doesn't fit exactly tight. So I take and put a kitchen towel over the top. That way, any steam that happens to come up, it will catch it. But it helps to hold in some of the heat. So all I do, put this in here, turn my crock pot on high. And then I'm going to let this cook for about eight hours. Um, in eight hours, they should be done. Sometime during the time, I'm going to come by and I'm going to lift this towel up and I'm going to look and see how they look. Um, and I may stir them after about four hours. Just give them a quick stir, put the lid back down. Because with a crock pot, if you're looking, you're not cooking. So um, that's all there is to it. So in eight hours, we will have us some boiled peanuts. So I'm looking forward to it already. Well, I'm back. My peanuts have been cooking for about eight hours now. And I know they're done because I snuck in here and tested them myself. But um, somebody else has been in here eating my peanuts too. And so it's hard. The house smells really good. It smells like you're cooking boiled peanuts. And so it's hard to stay away. You keep wanting to come by and get a little out. And after they get done, I really have to watch because 
people, my husband will be in here with a plate of boiled peanuts. But this is what they look like. They're just, they turn dark and the water will be dark looking. These things grow in the ground, the peanuts do. So um, even though they're considered legumes. So um, anyway, just get you some out. You don't have to do anything else to them. I flip my crock pot to warm at this point, And then I just um, keep them warm and we'll just snack on them all afternoon, especially on Saturdays when we're watching football. Football and boiled peanuts seem to go together. So um, anyway, let's give them a taste here. And if you don't know how to crack peanuts, um, when you have one, it's this is the end that was attached to the plant. And then the other end, you have a little tiny little place right there, a perfect little place to just mash. And it cracks right open, pops open. And then you just get your little peanut out and have a taste. And oh my gosh, these things are so good. They're salty. And uh, after eight hours, they have just the right amount of um, softness to them. And these are not the red skin ones. Remember, I told you these are um, Virginia peanuts, but they are so good. Uh, almost like being back on the farm when me and my mom and dad and grandma and my brother, all of us were together working together to have a great snack for Saturday night. So from my Southern Simply Kitchen to yours, enjoy. <music>